One of the uh, big challenges in multiple sclerosis is that we have you know, half dozen treatments available um, and for a given treatment some patients respond and some don't and each of these treatments have side effects and so ideally it'd be nice to know ahead of time um, for a given patient what treatment has the best chance of working so that they don't have to endure all these side effects. Right now it's a very much guesswork process. We'll try this, we'll see what happens, they may respond, they, they may not. So what Dr. Larry Steinman has done in work during the, the past year or so, um, by using an, an advanced um, proteomic based approach to looking at the blood, um, he's been able to find uh, patterns of, of proteins um, in the blood uh, that predict whether or not a patient will respond to some of the more common treatment approaches in multiple sclerosis. Um, and so ahead of time one would know you're very likely to respond to this treatment. It's, it's worth the side effects and risks, let's try it. Or it's very unlikely you'll respond to this treatment, maybe we should try another one. And this is what we've all been waiting for in multiple sclerosis. This is a paradigm shift. I mean, this has never been doable before in, in the whole field of multiple sclerosis. This, so this, his work uh, points to the possibility for the first time uh, that we can take a patient with MS and really think of, predict ahead of time which treatment might work. Now someday, not only in MS and neurology and all medicine, and this is part of personalized medicine, we'll have this technology further developed so that we can sit down with a person that has MS or epilepsy or any disease and tailor to them ahead of time which medication is most likely to work, which medication won't work. We'll have a day someday where we'll look back 20 years and say, I can't believe it. We used to just take patients and start them all on the same drug and then hoping it'll work. Um, that'll seem quite old fashioned soon. So the research that Dr. Steinman's group is doing is really a glimpse into the future.